Hi Engineering Janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we'll understand how to get placed in MANG companies. There's always a buzz around MANG companies and it should be because they are very big organizations. They offer you numerous benefits, ample amount of technology exposure and a wonderful career overall. But before I dive in deep, before I explain you how to enter MANG, there are a few things I want to clear you out in the beginning itself. Number one, you're setting a very, very high target if you're trying to enter MANG. It is not impossible to do it. Realistically, it's not impossible, but this is a high target. So you can think it of in the terms that you're shooting for the moon. Even if you don't reach the moon, you land among stars. Okay. So when you land among the stars, do not consider it as a failure that you didn't reach moon. Be happy that you are among stars. Okay. And also, there's one more important thing that an element of luck is always involved while giving the interview of these companies, getting shortlisted for these companies, okay? So it's absolutely fine even if you don't get a call after multiple applications. Your day might come sooner or later, fine? Aisa ho sakta hai ke der ho jaye. There's a possibility that delay happens. So don't worry about that, okay? And remember, the harder you work, the luckier you get. That's true, but still, the element of luck is involved and it's okay to fail, okay? It's absolutely fine to fail until unless you're learning from that failure, it's absolutely fine to fail. If you're not learning from the failures, then it's a problem, okay? So fail hone se darna mat. Set your targets high. You might land among the stars, fine? And who knows, you reach the moon as well, fine? So. I'll go ahead and let's dive in deep. The first thing is coding and DSA. I can't stress enough on it. Without this, there's no possibility of entering man. Okay, but how to do that? In a systematic way, I'll explain you. In this complete video, I'll give you no irrelevant suggestion. Everything would be practical, pragmatic, doable, as simple as that. Okay, now you start from beginner level coding problems, elevate yourself till advanced level coding problems. How do you do that? Start from top 100 codes. You have it free of cost on Prep Insta website. I'll show you. See, this is free of cost on Prep Insta website. Clearly, free of cost. You can go ahead. You log in and say some of the digits of a number you have to see. You go ahead, see its solution. You have three, four methods to solve. And once you log in, you can unlock the full access. It is free of cost for everybody. Okay. Now, once you do it, there's something that I have for you. For the people who are intermediate coders or who are above beginner level coders, as simple as that. For them, I have something who have studied basics of DSA, who have revised basics of DSA for them. I have something as 150 not out. When I started on YouTube, I promised this to my students. And today is the day when I'm delivering you my promise, my commitment. Okay. So in January, as I told you, you'll have 150 not out at your hands and it is there with you now and it is free of cost. What basically there is in 150 not out, I'll tell you, look, in this 150 not out list, you have 150 problems on various topics of DSA. Okay. They are divided topic wise. I'll show you that resource topic wise divided here and in them, what you can do. If you revise them multiple times, if you have these 150 problems on the edges of your nails, believe me, nobody can stop you in technical interview of man companies, okay? Beat any company on earth, product based, non product based, because this was a problem that I faced in my college days. When I asked my seniors, they said 750 problems on lead code, 500 problems on lead code. Without that, you cannot enter a product based company. Let me tell you, I never did that much and still. By the end of the college, I landed up in a product-based company, fine. I had an offer from product-based company. So that's absolutely fine to not do 700 problems and still you can enter Mang or any company. For that, you need to do this 150 not out sheet. Why am I stressing out so much on this? Despite being a free resource. The reason is when I prepared these problems, my whole motive was I give you the pattern of problems. So these 150 problems have patterns that repeat in every company, which is of big scale, which is of product based scale. Usually in mag companies, 
Apart from this 150 patterns, nothing is asked. So if you know these 150 patterns, even if a combination of two patterns comes, you'll easily know how to solve it. So this list can be a very helpful resource. And what you can do is, I'll give you the link of this particular list in description. But wait, I'll open up 150 not out questions. So this is the list of 150 not out questions. Of course, I'm not a robot. Wait a minute, I'll reload it. So this is the list. And here, multiple questions are given to you. What you can do is say, see arrays and hashing and topic wise, you have further two pointers, then you have further sliding window, everything. There are multiple topics. And when you log in on the page, which is free of cost, again, you see it, all the resources that I'm showing you here are free of cost. Okay. Now you open any question, say valid anagram question you open and you try doing this question. You'll have multiple methods or multiple solutions for a particular question. See, in this, you'll have multiple approaches. See, two approaches to solve this problem. One is, even in the two approaches, what is non-optimal, what is optimal, everything you'll have for yourself, fine. And then you'll also have some hints when you go down and a lot of uh, language opportunities for you, whatever language you like, go ahead, study in it. Once these problems are well revised by you, then you can easily crack the coding DSA rounds, the technical interview rounds. Fine. Then moving ahead, sharpen yourself with skills and projects. This is one bundle. You learn the trending skills which are relevant to market like data science, AI, ML, deep learning, or cybersecurity, cloud computing anything like that which is relevant to the industry and or full stack web development. Once you learn these skills, then build some cool projects into it because this is the fastest way to learn it. The skills are an essential tool, but how to check your fluency in skill? Project will tell. Na? They basically depict your level and proficiency in a skill because this is what you will write in your resume. I have top five projects video on YouTube that is also free of cost You see it. And in that, I have given you ATS friendly resume descriptions as well. Fine. So you use that, in, take inspiration from it and craft your resume project section so that you can easily clear the uh, round of resume shortlisting. I'll tell you, I'll come on resume as well. Don't worry. But you need to build some good projects so that your profile looks interesting. Okay. Now, once it is done, design a relevant ATS friendly resume. I told you I'll come on to this. This is basically resume is what tells your story now. So resume is always an essential component and why it should be ATS friendly because a lot of times a lot of applications come to such big organizations. So they use applicant tracking system in this, this system gives particular score to your resume. And if that score is above 90, then you're safe. 85 plus is generally considered a good score, but to stay safe, try and be above 90. For that, I have given a complete guidance in a YouTube live video. You can check that out in live section, how to prepare an ATS friendly resume and ultimate resume. You can check it out there. You'll know how to prepare a good resume. Then build a good formal LinkedIn profile. This tells your cyber awareness, your general awareness of market, you're up with the trends, number one. Number two, you can build connections here through which you can ask for referrals. Okay. Why am I saying so? Because connections and referrals are the most important thing in all of these slides or all of this procedure. The reason being refer referrals are the fastest way. Okay. Connections and referrals are the fastest way to enter into these organizations. Believe me, yahan par jitne log hai, maximum of them are either through referral programs or through hackathon or internships, as simple as that. So referrals are super important. How do you get it? You build a good LinkedIn profile, connect with recruiters, employees of man companies, send them cold emails, describe how you can contribute to their organization, and then ask for referrals with particular job IDs for which you want to ask. Give them the job requisition ID. Yeah, hi, hello, me time based nahi karna hai zada, okay? You be formal, be crisp and be polite while asking the referrals, fine. 
and then connect with such people, DM them, cold email them and then get your referrals in a right way. If you get referrals, your chances of getting shortlisted or getting interviewed are way more higher than you can think. Believe me. All you need is a good ATS friendly resume with some cool projects, good skills and you need very very good coding and DSS skills and with that if a referral is combined the chances of getting lucky are immense. They are very very high, exponentially high. Then what you do is apart from this you do open source contribution on GitHub on various places you can have this. So open source project is you can say it is a source code that is made available to the public to view, use, modify and distribute under permissive licenses. Fine. And this can be contributing in two ways. Number one, it will build your public profile. So you can share your GitHub profile in your resume. Somebody can see your work, what you have done, what projects you have done, how you have contributed to the open source. Secondly, most important thing is here also you try and get an exposure of market and get yourself good in various skill sets, various aspects and you get some connections for yourself. You get some mentors for yourself who can step by step guide you, fine. So open source contributions are also a very very important thing but let me tell you if you're not contributing to open source it doesn't mean that you can't enter Mang. Honestly a recruiter who is sitting in Mang is rather less concerned about open source if your resume is very good, if your skills are very good and you're coming from a referral, fine. So nobody is much concerned about open source contribution then. If you're somebody who's applying in a chunk of applications, then open source becomes important, okay. Now, hackathons, contests and internships. For example, Amazon has its WOW program, Google has GSOC program, Google Summer of Code, fine. These can be ways to enter man companies. Also in nationwide hackathons that are happening, say Smart India Hackathon. In these hackathons, generally recruiters or employees from man companies keep an eye that which people or which students are best of the talents and they try and hire them out, okay. So nationwide hackathons, despite having a less chance of getting noticed here, you still have a possibility of catching eye of somebody from these organizations, fine. And contests like Meta Hacker Cup, various hackathons that man companies conduct. Microsoft also contains its hack hackathon. It conducts hackathon once a year. Sometimes it skips, but usually it does. So in these companies, hackathons can be a very, very good way to enter. Fine. So this is some unusual way, not the usual way. The usual way is referral only. Don't think that randomly somebody would pop out from any man company and pick you up. Referrals are the best way to go. But hackathons and internships are also a way through which you can go or some contests or some specific program. For example, Amazon Wow is a specific program for women. Fine. So you can enter, women can enter through this particular program in Amazon. It is a good entry to land up in a manga organization. So these are some unusual ways. But Believe me, out of everything that I shared, referrals are the most important, fine. So if you have a referral and if you are good at coding in DSA, your chances of getting into these companies are way too high. Now some bonus content for you. People who really, really want to enter these companies and they are ready to do some good hard work, study this. System design. After you complete everything, after skills, after coding, after DSA, study system design a bit, fine, study it. For a beginner level only, study system design. This will give you an extraordinary edge. Let me tell you, this is a guarantee of clearing interview. If you land up in the interview and you reach till the uh, final or penultimate round, then system design is something, even if one question lands in front of you and you answer that, your hiring is almost ensured, okay? So this is something bonus that I'm giving you for free. And for upskilling, if you want, you can go on prepinstaprime.com. For that, you can use this code SHUKLA10. You'll get some discount for upskilling if you want. So you can go on prepinstaprime.com. You can explore that. And go ahead, tell me what confusions, what questions you have on man companies. 
I'll try and answer them. I'll solve them. And what else are your blockers that you're facing in placement journeys? Under the comment section, you go ahead, comment below this video so that I get your problems, number one. Number two, top three comments get Prep Insta Prime subscription for free. So do not miss out on that chance and follow us on these social media links so that I keep on updating you with various hirings and such cool informations. Fine. Remember one thing, whatever you learned in this video, if it was good, if it was pragmatic, go ahead, spread this knowledge to your juniors, your seniors, your peers, whoever needs this. Okay. Keep doing good without any expectation. Good will come back to you, believe me.